Hey everyone, did you know that you can pull up applicants from Temps Plus by searching for their phone number and or email address? As with any standard applicant search, from the applicant ID field, you can enter the phone number into the ID and hit enter. So if your caller ID shows the number and you want to pull them up ahead of time, you can enter that into Temps Plus, hit enter, and that's going to pull up every record associated with that phone number. Three records all contain that phone number in either the telephone, the second telephone, or the cell phone field. Like I said, you can also search by email address. So jimmy at bridgeware.net is going to pull up the record that contains that email address. Let's say I'm looking for somebody that came in recently, whether it was this morning, yesterday. Can't remember their name, but I know that I put them into the system not too long ago. I can click F7 on my keyboard or F7 to browse in the bottom right hand corner of my applicant form and that's going to pull up my most recently entered applicants first. So Brenda here, she was the last applicant entered into my system. I can scroll through my list and either select the record I'm looking for or now I'm also record set driven of my most recently entered applicants so I can scroll through, find the employee that came in that I was looking for. As always, when we're searching here, we can search by last name. So if I'm looking for a Smith, hit enter. That's going to pull up everyone that their last name is Smith or begins with Smith. If I'm looking for Jim Smith, I can enter Smith, comma, space, Jim. If that's not the Jim Smith, hey, I know he was in there. He worked for me quite a while ago. I can go out and include code blue records. Those are going to be inactive or terminated employees. So maybe that's the Jimmy Smith I was looking for. He was inactive. He hasn't worked for me in over a year. But we maintain those records and you can go out and search for code blue. Now, if I know last name was Smith, first name began with a J. I can simply enter last name, comma, space, first letter of their first name, and that's going to pull up all my Smiths whose first name begin with a J. Or if I know that the employee's name sounded like John. It was John, Johnson, Johnny, but I can't remember if it was the first name or the last name. Entering an asterisk followed by J-O-H-N is going to pull up everybody whose first name is John or like John or their last name has John in it, whether it's Rick John, Johnson, etc. And of course, as always, I can search by social security number and or if I know their applicant ID, I can enter that and it's going to pull up the record associated with that applicant ID. Again, just a quick video here on pulling up existing applicant records within Temps Plus.